a lovely question the objective is to find out the greatest and the least value of median let's read the question the arithmetic mean of five positive integers a b c d and e is 22 the mean is 22 this is the ascending order of the numbers which means all these numbers are distinct if e is 40 the largest of these numbers is 40 what is the greatest possible value of the median of the five integers so that's part one what is the least possible value of the median of these five integers that's part two let's just jot down the data quickly in a tabular form so that we know what we are talking about we have five positive integers these numbers are in ascending order a is less than b is less than c is less than d is less than e which means these are distinct integers the median for these five numbers is a middle term which is equal to c e the largest number is equal to 40 and the average of these five positive integers is 22 so this is the data given to us let's make sense of this data we know that the average of these five numbers is 22 so the sum of these five numbers which is a plus b plus c plus d plus e will be 5 times 22 which is equal to 110 the largest number is a 40 so let's replace e with a 40 so the equation basically boils down to a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 110 minus 40 which is 70 this is going to be our starting point to find both these things to find the greatest value of c which is a median and to find the least value of c let's set about doing that we'll start with the greatest value of c the equation starting point for us is a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 70. Objective, we are going to maximize c. What do we have to do to maximize c? We need to minimize a, b and d. We need to minimize these three numbers if we have to maximize c. How do we go about it? Let's start with the easier ones to minimize. Which one is the easiest to minimize? a and b are the easiest to minimize. We know these numbers are positive integers. How low can the values of a and b be? The least possible value for a and b, given that they are positive integers, could be a 1 and 2. Let's get started with that. If it makes sense, let's go with it. If that is not the minimum value, let's rework it. So a and b are 1 and 2. Now we need to find out the largest value for c. Let's keep c as is. What do you think is the least value possible for d? Obviously, the temptation is to go for something like a 3. If you went for a 3, then a and b are 1 and 2. D is a 3. C has to be less than D. That is not happening. So D is not a 3. Let's make a tweak here. Let's make C to be equal to a 3 and D to be equal to a 4. Right? Then A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3, D is equal to 4. Some of these 4 numbers is only a 10. It is not a 70. So going about this way to finding the minimum value for D is not going to work. D has to be to the right of C. And D also has to be minimized. We need to do both these things in one shot. How do we achieve it? Give D as little more than C as you can. Make D as little more than C as it can be made. Which is make D one more than C. Give just one number more than C to make D. So this would keep D greater than C and will also minimize D. This sum is now equal to 70. Solve this equation. Now it's very simple. 2c is equal to, take the 4 to the right hand side, 6 to 6, c is equal to 33. So largest possible value for the median of these five numbers is equal to a 33. Rewind this video and watch it to understand how we went about minimizing d. Let's move on to part 2 where we are going to find the least value of the median. Starting point is that equation a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 70. Objective is to minimize c. So obviously by now we know that we need to maximize a, b and d. Hit the pause button here. What we are going to be doing here to minimize c is a mirrored version of what we did to maximize c in the last slide. Get the answer, come back to it. This is far more interesting than the earlier one. Have you completed it? Did you figure out that you are not getting what you wanted or did you find out the answer despite that? Let's see that here. What is the easiest number to maximize? If e is a 40, the maximum value possible for d is a 39. Let's just plug that in. Whether that is a maximum value, we'll come to it, but that's a good starting point. Plus C, we need to maximize both B and A. By now you would have realized we obviously cannot give B a 37, in which case the sum of these numbers will exceed a 70. B has to be less than C and A has to be less than B. Now we need to keep these two numbers to the left of C and also maximize them. Let's just start with B. 
B has to be maximized, which means we need to push it as much to the right as possible. And it should be less than C. What did we do to minimize D in the last exercise? We made D one more than C. To maximize B, given the fact that B should be less than C, we're going to be doing the mirrored version. We're going to make B as little less than C as possible. How little can it be less than C? One less than C. So the max value possible for B is one less than C. Consequently, the max value possible for A is one less than B or two less than C. So C minus two is the least value, maximum value possible for A. C minus one is the maximum value possible for B. We have set the maximum value theoretically possible for D is equal to 39. So let's solve this equation. 3C minus two minus one is a minus three plus 39 is a plus 36 is equal to 70. The sum is equal to 70. So this makes 3C to be equal to a 34. 3C is equal to 34. C is equal to 34 by 3, which is nothing but 11 and 1 third. This is the absolute least value possible for C. But the answer does not, the question does not end here because we know these numbers are positive integers. So we need to tweak it further. The least mathematical numerical value possible for C is 11 and 1 third. So the least value possible for B and A will be 10 and 1 third and 9 and 1 third. We know these are all integers. So the least integer value possible for C, which is more than this, has to be a 12 because anything less than 11 and 1 third is not the least value possible for C. It has to be 11 and 1 third or more because this is the absolute least. So if you make this a 12, obviously the sum is going to go beyond 70 for A plus B plus C plus D. We need to ensure that that does not happen. We have added a two thirds to 11 and one third to make it into a 12. So I'm going to borrow one third from B and A. So B will be a 10, A will be a 9. The least integer value possible for C is equal to 12. So here one more extra layer was loaded onto this question to find the least value. So max C is equal to 33, min C is equal to 12. Brilliant question, just run through it again. Many of these questions do not have any calculation at all. We are adding, subtracting very basic numbers. But these are intensive on analysis, which is what makes these questions interesting. So easily be a 700, 800 level question.